Skinny Friends and welcome to two young adult book reviews. Today we are talking about two different books that I have read. Unfortunately, Marshall has not read either. One of them is These Vengeful Hearts by Katherine Lauren and the second book is called Sing Like No One Is Listening by Vanessa Jones. Uh, both of these, like I said, are young adult books. Uh, these Vengeful Hearts, I actually listened to an audiobook recording of it that I got from NetGalley. And uh, it is the story of a girl whose sister had a tragic accident that leaves her paralyzed and so she can't walk. But the people who caused this accident were a group at school that they call the Red Court. And the Red Court basically takes like bids from people around the school and uh, causes things to happen for other people. Uh, for example, maybe you have somebody that you want uh, to break up with their girlfriend, so you will cause a thing to happen uh, that has nothing to do with you, but they'll do it for you. You get what I mean? Mm. Okay, so the way that these people communicate in this school is through a deck of cards, obviously, so they call themselves the Red Court, and the Red Queen is the top of this court. So our main character wants revenge on what the Red Court did to her sister. So her job is to infiltrate the Red Court and take out the Red Queen. And so she spends most of the book trying to do exactly that. Hmm. Mean Girls with a Card Flare. Oh my gosh, that's exactly what I wrote. Consider if you like Mean Girls. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that's exactly, yeah, pretty much. Although with more, more motive, agenda, and it's highly, highly organized. Uh, there was a lot of things that happened in this book. I felt like towards the end that mine you know, were pretty unexpected. Um, I thought the narrator did, you know, a passable job. I wasn't bored at all, and I thought the characters were really good. However, there was a section in the book about, you know, middle ways through that I got completely lost and forgot about everything that happened. So I don't know, <laughs> but it was a good book. Um, otherwise, I ended up giving it three stars. It was just medium. Okay. Yeah, medium. The second book is called Sing Like No One's Listening and it is the story of a girl whose mother has died uh, the year before. Her mother was a famous dancer and also sang and so she inherited a lot of her, the singing ability. And uh, she makes it into this really prestigious performing arts college around London-ish. And uh, after her mom has died she goes to the audition to get into this college and she can't sing. She loses her voice. She gets into the college, which she thinks because of her mother's name, because her mother was friends with the headmistress. But she still can't sing and still can't sing. And the headmistress is threatening to throw her out unless she can sing. Uh, also, she kind of, you know, likes this boy who is like, I think a year above her in college and he can play guitar and he's learning to play piano. So one time she goes into the studio and she hears someone behind a curtain playing the piano and she thinks she can sing. So she does because no one's there except for the person playing the piano. She doesn't know who it is. And then she thinks or kind of thinks she figures out who it is, that it's the girl who is like her nemesis who wants to steal her away from this guy she likes. So now she's conflicted because this girl is like the only person she can really sing in front of even though they're not singing in front of each other. So what does she do? When does she get her voice back? That's what this book is all about. Mm. How, how do you uh, get over stage fright, basically? Kind of, although it's not really stage fright, it's more psychosomatic mm -hmm. dealing with your mother's, her mother's death, really. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it sounds pretty interesting. I mean, mm -hmm. it was a good young adult thing. It was a young adult thing. Um, you know, it was okay. I thought it was interesting from the college perspective. I thought it was, you know, it was cute. I did give it four stars. I mean, I thought it, it was, it was enjoyable. I know a lot of people on Goodreads don't really uh, like it as much as I liked it, but I thought the characters were really interesting. I thought, uh, even though it was kind of like a young adult, uh, you know, romance book, it still had theater elements. And what I did really like was also a good and a bad. So I liked it because there were a lot of really inside theater jokes that had to do with current musicals and stuff that I got the reference. 
but I think other people might not get the reference. So that was probably a bad thing on top of that. So that was one thing I think that could have been better because the writer comes from a musical theater background, like she's performed on stage mm -hmm. and stuff. So that she was really writing from what she knew, but on the other side, it may have been a little over the head of people who don't necessarily know musical theater, if that makes sense. Um, I would say you can consider this if you liked Glee, High School Musical, musical theater in general, you'll probably like this book. Okay. It, it's really in your house. Right. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching our review of all these young adult books. And uh, until next time. Stay zen. Bye.